So, this is the second video in this series. Somebody wrote on there a long time ago, sold and stove. All right. But I want to get these screws out. These are special screws. You see how long they are? That's right. That's what they should be. And that nut is up there. I don't know. That doesn't, doesn't look like the original nut. But we're going to get these off and let me show you how. So I did put some oil on that screw a couple days ago. What kind of oil? Not neat. No napoline. You don't want to use that on a wood cook stove. What you do want to use something you can cook an egg in. Has no added salt and it's fat free. You can't beat that. So because we are using a cooking spray, we're going to need a little heat. That ought to work just fine. Since that uh, gold has been heat soaked in many cycles on this stove, we just need to heat cycle it again to persuade it to come off. So we get that heated up. That's right. Let's let that set a second, and then we'll put the pliers and the screwdriver on it. All right, we'll get the screwdriver on this end, the pliers on the other end. There we go. It's moving. As I sprayed this onto the rust afterward, and I'm using my flap disc. It's an old, worn out flap disc. Using the oil keeps the dust down. All you have to do is wipe it up with a paper towel. Let's show you. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting the rust to go away. We're not blowing the rust all around in the room. Oh sure, I could have took this outside. We well, could have done all kinds of things to it. But that flap disc is doing the job it was meant to. The oil's doing the job it was going to eventually because we're gonna burn that off. So you see there, that oil kept all the dust out, reapplied it, we're going to do a cleaning oil as well, but that's making it beautiful. So let's go ahead and put on a cleaning layer, and I know this is going to come out dirty. That's exactly what we want. Oh yeah. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be beautiful. So 
that's coming out pretty nice, isn't it? We'll go ahead and do a wipe down. Because there's lots of stuff coming off still. Yep. That is coming nice and clean. We're picking up all that brush that would have been blowing around in the air. that metal coming through. That's what we're after. You can see there's some, uh, you know, what would you call that, patina. That was baked on. Yeah, that stuff's coming off. But this is what you want before you uh, start putting on the tallow and heating it up. You can see the difference. So these two screws that I took out of here, both of them snapped off. You think, well, that's a terrible shame. You just ruined your bolts. No, I didn't. I'll just put them in that way. Get a nut for the bottom. It's behind that metal plate. Nobody will see that. All right, we're gonna fix this backsplash. And as you know, the screw broke when I was trying to take it off. So now what I have is a washer. That'll stop the head from trying to pull through. Then underneath, I'll put a spring. That's a compression spring. So when that gets uh, bumped, the spring will have some give. I've got a big washer and a wing nut. Now that's how they were set up originally. This way that backsplash could take a little bit of beating. I'll put it on and show you. So as you see there I'm getting the spring gonna hold up against the bottom of the heating plate. I've got the washer and a wing nut. So I'll get that wing nut tightened up and I'll show you how well that works. So I have one side hooked up so far, as you can see, that can give without bending the metal now. So there it is right under there. And you can see how that will flex and pull itself back into shape. So we'll give this a quick burn by burning off all the rags we've got so far. That's interesting. Those holes, I don't think they were meant to be there, but you can see the fire. Yeah. That uh, butter-flavored cooking spray. Looks like it's fairly flammable when you put it on a rag. And then add a little bit of iron to it. I'm liking them holes. So many of you wondered why I burnt the rags in the stove and didn't just throw them in the trash. Well, I got a quick video here to show you why that might be a bad idea, throwing those in the garbage can. So I've got vegetable oil, and that's what's on here with some iron from the stove. I've got some PB Blaster and some secret sauce. I'm going to put these, like we would, in a garbage can. We give it a spray of that, and a little bit of this. That wasn't much, was it? Now, well, what the heck, I'll just give it another spray of uh, that vegetable cooking spray as well. We'll go ahead and seal that up. Put this outside. I'll put it on time lapse for you, alright? 
So I've got the oils mixed in that baggie. It's outside on the concrete pad. We'll go ahead and put time lapse on it. Give you a good look at that. There's oils and sprays and stuff. This is something you'd throw in your garbage can and walk away. I want to show you why that's probably a bad idea. We'll put you on time lapse. So that there has been 15 minutes. This can take up to two hours. I hope you're uh, willing to wait. We'll keep an eye on it though. Well, there you go. Just like I was telling you, don't be doing that. So not that you would use PB Blaster to clean your stove, but what if you thought, hey, I have some paint thinner. That'll evaporate, won't it? And then you throw the rags in the garbage can. You could have serious problem. Just saying. Well, how about that quick little demonstration? That shows you what the power of mixing chemicals can do. So just be careful. That's my two cents for today. That's right, I got this green grubby pad. And we're going to go over everything we've hit so far. From oh here over, all I've done is spray the rust. But I was told these green scrubbies will take care of cast iron. I'm thinking I'm believing them. Yeah, that's coming out nice. Well, that'll do it for this week's video. Next, we're going to clean this side. And when I come back, we're going to go ahead and light this up. Put some beef tallow on. Get a nice patina on. And then we'll cook something. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? I know it's what you've been waiting for. But this thing is looking mighty fine where it's been cleaned. Let's get that side done. But I won't bore you with that. Thanks for watching.